the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 278, Nehemiah 8-10. Nehemiah and Ezra's Festival of Tanj. After the wall of Jerusalem was completely rebuilt, Ezra and Nehemiah joined the forces, gathered the people to hear the laws of Moses, and kept the Feast of Tabernacle. First point. After the reconstruction of the Jerusalem walls, the people requested Ezra to educate them on the laws of Moses. Once the walls became reconstructed, the people requested Ezra to teach them the laws and Ezra started to educate them. Ezra taught the people about the word of God. What the people needed now was God's message. Ezra read aloud God's words to the people and the Levites taught the people the laws. At the time, there would have been those who were unfamiliar with their mother language. And so both the Hebrew and Aram languages were used to teach them. When the people heard God's laws and words, they repented sincerely. The people all gathered to celebrate the Feast of Trumpets and enjoyed food and drink. Second point, Ezra and Nehemiah worked hard with the people to keep the festival. On the second day of the seventh month, the heads of all the families, along with the priests and the Levites, gathered around Ezra to give attention to the words of God. The people all came together, led by Ezra and Nehemiah, to celebrate and to fellowship. In particular, they kept the Feast of Tabernacle as well as the Feast of Trumpet, in order to study the laws in depth. They relived what their ancestors did in the desert for 40 years by dedicating their time in educating themselves about God's laws and commands. Third point, after the festival, the Levites led the people in the repentance movement. On the 24th day of the seventh month, the people started their repentance movement. The people came together and they fasted. They wore sackcloth and they put dust on their heads. They confessed their sins, and this was led by the Levites. Nehemiah recorded the names of these Levites. The people renewed their covenant with God, and they all prayed to Him. They revised the content from Genesis to Exodus. Then they revised the history in the desert after Exodus. They thanked God for all he did and counted everything the glorious God had granted them. They accepted that their ancestors did wrong, but that God was nevertheless merciful towards them. They then revised the content of the 500 years of monarchy. They then revised the history of the years of captivity, and then repented. First point, the leaders of the returned captives swore that they would obey the laws in a kingdom of priests. The returned captives renewed their covenant with God led by Ezra and Nehemiah. The repentance movement of the returned captives led to such wonderful results. Nehemiah recorded the names of the people who turned to God. These were the names of the priests, Levites, and the leaders. They all swore to obey God's laws. Everyone promised to obey the laws and acknowledged the punishment they would receive, otherwise as written in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Fifth point. The returned captives swore that they would keep the laws written in the book of Moses. The people swore an oath that they would keep the laws of Moses. They firstly swore that they would not intermarry with foreign women. 
Tei sakandri suwa tati tei udu kip sabas, sabat kariya, and jubili. Tei sadri suwa tati tei udu be responsible over the duties of the temple. Tei fourthly suwa tati tei udu offer the trees for the altar for offerings. Tei fifthly suwa tati tei udu present to God the first fruits and animals at the temple. Tei lastly suwa that they would offer tithe so that the priests and Levites would be able to live. The Levites furthermore was sure that the tithes they received would be checked with the priest, and that they would also offer their tithe from the tithes they received. As such, the feasts were a reminder of God's constant love for them. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.